next thing to do is actually to set up the part definition. So we have to make the choices for the um, the part, and the, the the system needs to have a certain geometry input in order to make the calculation. Um, so we have this area here which is called part definition. So we can uh, select the floor surface, wall surface, and ceiling surfaces. Um, let's start with the floor surface. Now the floor surface always is the let's say the floor surface of the area that I would like to machine. In our case here, the area I would like to machine is the area between the two walls, right? So I am gonna select the floor surface here of the of this pocket. Just select it and confirm. So now I have made my selection. I would like to give a stock to leave at 0.2 millimeter. Remember we are roughing, we would like to have some rest material and we give a little bit of rest material. Um, the same for the wall surfaces. Now the wall surfaces are uh, not only um, the walls which uh, are um, around the floor surface. In order to make the selection easier for the wall surface and actually to consider the whole part also in terms of collision checking, um, we just select the whole part. So what I do is I just drag a window around the, the full geometry here and select it all. So now we consider this as our wall surfaces. Our wall surfaces are the collision check surfaces and they def determine the area to machine at the same time. Let's confirm and uh, now um, also put a little stock to leave here. Let's say 0 0.2, which is the same like the floor. And uh, I guess we are done with the, with the part definition.